Plastic pollution affects sea life throughout the ocean, according to the Pew Charitable Trust. They put together a report documenting the extent of the impact, which extends to the seafood people eat. The data you'll be working with in Exercise 12.1, seen here in the spreadsheet, is data on the number of plastic particles found in amphipods located at the bottom of the deepest trenches. So you'll need a little background in this. I'll link a video below uh, that briefly describes uh, the plastics found in the amphipods at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. An amphipod is a small creature that would look something like a shrimp to you. These trenches are the deepest places on the planet. Uh, the Mariana is the deepest, and these are some of the deepest places, deep underwater. The thinking had been that down there conditions would be pristine, clean, that there would be no no uh, pollution of any sort. So researchers were kind of surprised when they pulled up amphipods and discovered that the amphipods were full of plastic. They've been eating plastic that's that has wound up at the very bottom of these trenches. So plastic in the ocean is not just down our beaches and not just in the water. It's all the way in the bottom of the deepest trenches. And that's very concerning. Our, our oceans are full of plastic and seafood eats the plastic and we wind up eating the seafood and we get little plastic pieces in us. And so there's a lot of concern about this particular issue at present. So these researchers gathered uh, amphipods to see how much microplastics they had ingested. And from each trench, you can see the names of the trenches here and in the top row of the spreadsheet. For each of the six trenches, they pulled up 10 amphipods. Uh, they're very deep, collecting is difficult, so they pulled up only 10 from each trench. And what you have is a number of plastic particles, these numbers. This is 10 pulled up from the Izu Bonin, the first column is the Izu Bonin. There's 10 amphipods that have been pulled up, and some had no plastic in them, and some had one piece, and some had three. These numbers are how many plastic particles were in a particular amphipod. And then you have all six trenches here from left to, from, uh, left to right across here. So, based on the data, what useful statistics can you report? Tell the story of the data. Don't overload your analysis with every single statistic you can think of. No. Tell the story. Pick a statistic that helps you explain to an audience. You can't just show an audience a big table of numbers and expect them to understand the story of your data. Can you determine whether there's any difference in the amount of plastic found in amphipods in the different trenches? For an audience here, you might know, are any of these trenches near Micronesia? Is this something near to us or is this something far from us? Look also for any unusual data, for outliers, if any. Report any unusual data and why that data is unusual. That's usually a good idea when you're telling the story of the data. Make a chart. And I don't mean select all the data and just make any old random chart. Make a chart that's informative, that tells the viewer what they're seeing, that gives them more information, that tells the story. Choose wisely. Now. You use this spreadsheet to do your calculations and, and uh, make your charts, but then put those in a presentation. We don't just walk into a conference and put a spreadsheet up on the screen. We put it into a presentation. And so m copy the critical pieces of information, tell your story. You're going to need to add some words to explain the story. There's a lot of information about this out there at present. Uh, any additional information will be included in the uh, assignment itself in 12.1. But you can use Google Slides. You can use PowerPoint. On a Mac, you could probably use Keynote, but you're going to have to save it as a PDF and then upload the PDF if you do that. But however you do it, make a presentation and submit that. Include in it your key statistics and your chart. In the presentation, you do not have to include the original data. You do not have to try to move the whole table. Traditionally, in most uh, conference situations, 
uh, a presenter does not uh, include all of the raw data, but, but in many cases we'll make it available upon request. Data sets are often too large to put in the presentation, so there's no need to put the original data in. Tell people the story of the data, that's more important. Make it meaningful in some way. So that's 12.1. You're the statistician. You're the researcher. Your audience would be a general academic audience, potentially um, maybe a gathering of um, marine science students uh, of some sort. A, a, keep it uh, general, uh, as it were. Aim it at a, uh, an academically uh, capable audience. Assume that they would understand the statistics that you're going to present. But uh, that would be the target audience that you would have, as if you're presenting maybe at the college to people at the college.